Hello everyone, welcome to Thursday Thoughts video this evening. Today's topic is trouble sleeping, the digital elephant in the bedroom. So if you would like to access a personal well-being session with me at the end of the video, then I'll put a link in the comments below to take you directly to my calendar and allow you to book in a session for when suits you. So this is a topic that is really um, something I'm really passionate about and is something that comes up again and again with clients that I see. Um, and you might remember I recently did another video on sleep, which was regarding essential oils that can help with sleep. So I'll put a link to that as well. But um, that is because sleep is absolutely so fundamental for us to have um, good health and well-being. And because it's something that I'm constantly um, astonished by how many people don't get enough good quality sleep. So why do we need sleep? Well, um, if we don't get enough good quality sleep, then it has massive effects on both our physical, mental and emotional states. Um, so physiologically, your body requires sleep in order to function, in order to go through all the processes that normally occur when you're asleep. And if that doesn't happen, then this can actually affect your immunity. So if you don't get enough sleep, basically you are heading towards illness and even towards premature death. So I hope that's woken you up. I'd like to say, first of all, if you are watching or reading the blog on this now, and it's late at night and you are reading it on your phone or your other device, scrap the laptop or um, iPad or whatever, then put it down. It can wait until the morning. It will be here in the morning. And this is the point of this whole video. So how does your phone or your other device interfere with sleep? For the rest of the video, I'm just going to use the word phone. Please replace that in your own mind with whatever device it is that you're addicted to using late at night. So um, why does have using your phone late at night interfere with sleep. There are two reasons why using your phone late at night can affect your sleep. The first is if you are looking at news headlines, tweets, emails, whatever it might be late at night just before you're going to bed or just before you, while you're in bed and while you're just before you're going to sleep, then this is a really stimulating thing to do. Someone said something funny, there's a really bad um, piece of information in the news, whatever it is, it's stimulating to you and it's not allowing your brain to get to that relaxed place that it needs to be in order to be able to go to sleep. Second thing is that screens emit what is called blue light. This light that comes out of the screens actually interferes with the production of the hormone in the brain, melatonin, that tells us when to go to sleep. So if you are looking at a screen late at night, your brain thinks it's still daytime because of the blue light being emitted and doesn't let you go to sleep. So why might, what might your reasons be for using your phone in the bedroom? If you use your phone for as a clock or an alarm, then I would suggest, first of all, use an old fashioned alarm clock, go to an op shop, buy one. Um, even better, if you want to buy a new one, go and get yourself a fantastic sunrise clock. So they're otherwise known as a wake up light or a dawn simulator. These are clocks that actually simulate the rising sun. So these clocks actually work in the opposite way from the blue light from your phone. So they actually emit a gradual brightening light so that sunrise effect actually has the effect on your brain to tell it to stop producing melatonin, the sleep inducing hormone, and start producing cortisol and other hormones that will help you get up and go. So much more peaceful and better for you than waking up to a blaring alarm clock. If you use your phone for music or meditation before sleep, again, there's a few things I could say about this. First of all, um, do you have an iPod, an old iPod sitting in a drawer somewhere that you could perhaps pull out, download, that, download those apps or music onto and 
you will be able to use that device but it doesn't emit blue light and it doesn't allow you to access anything else that you might be tempted to look at on your phone. So that's a good, good one to check out if you can. Secondly, meditation is fantastic and I'm always telling you to meditate so I'm very pleased if you are doing that to help you get to sleep. Um, you are actually best to meditate sitting up. So I would suggest that you do your meditation right before you go to bed, but you do it outside the bedroom and then you leave your phone outside the bedroom and go into bed once you're in that beautiful relaxed state. Um, thirdly, meditation is actually a fantastic thing to do first thing in the morning. So you might like to consider changing your meditation routine and in fact starting your day with that beautiful, clear, focused mind that you get from doing meditation and then it's not something that you need to get to sleep at night. Next reason that you may give that somebody might need you in the middle of the night this is certainly a valid excuse for people who perhaps have teenage kids, perhaps have a family member that is um, ill or unwell or frail, and the other person that has the good that is a good excuse for is a doctor or other person who might be on call. Um, so my suggestions for this is obviously if you still have a landline telephone please give whoever might need to contact you that number. If you don't and you do need to use your mobile phone then I would suggest first of all make sure you turn off all your other notifications overnight so that you just have the telephone and secondly um, consider perhaps not having the phone still right next to you in bed, have it in another part of the bedroom or perhaps even just outside the door where you can hear it but you're not going to be tempted to look at other things on it in the middle of the night or when you're trying to go to sleep. Um, then the other point I would like to make about that is my red light district um, point which is that if you do have to use your phone in the middle of the night for those kinds of reasons please make sure that you are using the night shift settings on the phone so what this does is reduce the blue coloring and increase warm red tones to the back backing screen of the phone and therefore cuts out that um, or at least reduces that problem of the blue light um, uh, decreasing your melatonin production. Um, if you can't, don't know how to do this on your phone, I would suggest you Google it. Just Google something about your phone brand and how to do night shift settings. If you can't do that on your phone or you're using a laptop or something else that doesn't allow you to have that setting, then there is a wonderful free app called f.lux and I'll put a link in that in the comments below as well that allows you to um, have that exact effect so it allows you to set what times you want the red light to be the background for your screens and um, again prevents that reduction in melatonin. So I guess my main um, point that I wanted to make about this is put the phone down and back away. Obviously, been watching way too much Brooklyn Nine Nine with my children. Okay, if you have any questions about this or about anything else to do with your well-being, please contact me. And if you are ready to book a session to have some Reiki with me, because Reiki is also fantastic for improving your quality and quantity of sleep, because it brings our body's energies back into balance and alignment, then please contact me and make session time. Have a great evening guys. Bye.